hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be making a quick knotless box braid wig and towards the back of my wig cap i'm going to be crocheting the hair on once i get to where i have my closure i'm going to be braiding individual braids i'm using uh, this pre-stretch um, expression um, clinical in here in number 30 and I'm go also going to be mixing that with number 27 I forgot to show you so I'm just going to go ahead and just cut the mesh from my cap and then we're going to add it to the wig block and then start making our wig also I wanted to state this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial I do have that on my channel um, this is just a quick um, watch me as I complete this wig video so if you'd like to see a more detailed video on how to make a knotless box braid wig, I'll go ahead and leave the link below for you. And I'm going to go through all that, place the hair on a needle, close the latch, come through. Leave the needle in and pull the hair through. Okay guys, so after we finish lining around and filling in the spaces around the rim, now we're gonna start filling in the rest of the cap. So where we have our closure to start the braid.
So now that we're moving into feeding in on a highlighted braid, I'm gonna start off by feeding in my darkest um, color first, which is the number 30. I'm gonna add three pieces of number 30, and then you're gonna see me add uh, three pieces of uh, my number 27. Um, so it could be um, even pieces added to each plait. Um, like I did for my prior plait when I'm doing the black, I did six pieces. get to the end end of the hair I just take my two piece place that in one and then I start doing like a rope twist at the end and I twist it all the way out to as close to the end as possible and just leave a little piece. Okay guys, so I just hot watered it here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and mousse it um, and do my baby hair. And then I'm going to um, leave it to dry. And I also poured some of the hot water. I put a little bit of conditioner in my water. And I poured some on the back because um, when I took the hair out from the pack, the hair that I crocheted on the back, I didn't like, some of them had a smell to it. So I wanted to um, condition it to get it, um, to rinse it a bit, and then add some um, conditioner to pour the smell and then to make it a little bit softer. So I went ahead and did that. So I'm just gonna mousse her down here and see what we have. So we have the highlights on each side. I love it. Then you have highlight on this side as well, so it's balanced. This is our hair all finished. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And for your highlight braid, you can do as many colors as you want, or you can just use one color. Play with it and make it yours.